Hey Slice Life, just wanted to put this together for you quick to um, explain just a, one thing with this takeaway. Uh, really nice job with the way the left knee, the left foot's working um, so that left knee isn't working inward as much. The left foot's staying planted. Uh, it's a really great position here and uh, glad to see that um, you're hitting it better. So just to kind of keep cleaning things up with this takeaway, um, I agree with that um, that comment with the lower back, making sure that the, you don't have that arch in the back. So the arch being kind of how it's curved this way. Um, I got Ricky Fowler here on the right, and you can see how um, the lower back is much softer. Um, he's not really sticking his butt out. So for you, it might feel like you're almost sticking your tailbone underneath yourself a little bit more. But what I want to talk about with the takeaway um, because he did a really nice job with uh, that left foot, that left knee. But I want to highlight um, another aspect of, of what's going on with the, with, with the takeaway. So we're going to see that as you take it back, I drew a uh, circle on the butt of the club here. You're going to see that for you, when you take it back, the hands start to work out towards the ball. right? They move out this way. We're going to show Ricky Fowler here on the right. And he's going to be doing um, something a little bit different. He's going to start to have the butt of the club work in. So kind of closer to his right thigh, uh, maybe over his right shoelaces, the way the hands are working. And we can see that there's going to be a difference in the alignment of the club shaft and um, where the club head is is in relation to uh, the hands. So for you, you tend to have the club at too far inside the hands where Ricky because the hands are working in for him the club head will be working a little bit more outside the hands so why is this important because then we start to have um, some issues now with you on the the backswing where the shaft is a little bit too shallow or too flat meaning it's it's kind of pointing outside the ball too much and what happens there is on the backswing like I said, to get into a really good position, but because you had had it too flat or too shallow, then you have to start steepening it on the downswing. So we can see how this angle is much steeper than it was on the backswing. So Ricky's going to be doing uh, the opposite here. So he's going to be having the shaft, the hands working in, gets the club head out, and kind of gets the shaft uh, pointing inside the ball here. And on the downswing, he starts to shallow it out towards the end of the backswing, but you can see how it's going to be much different now on the downswing here. And then that allows him to hit more out at the ball rather than across it. So just some simple stuff, I think, for you to feel um, as you keep making sure that you're doing your, your takeaway piece uh, with the left knee, left foot, Set aside some time when you practice that you're going to be feeling a little bit more of a Ricky Fowler uh, kind of feel. Where for you, you're going to feel like the you're taking your hands or the butt of the club. It's almost going to feel like you're brushing your right thigh on the takeaway. That you're going to be taking your hands more inward, and that's going to allow start allowing the club head to work less in. So that's kind of going inside the hands here, and a little bit more what Ricky's doing over here on the right where the, the hands are going in, in the butt of the club is going in and the club's kind of working out so I would be making some practice swings kind of slow practice swings where you're really exaggerating this feel of the hands going in um, like the right hand or the butt of the club is brushing your right thigh on the takeaway it's not going to be really brushing it's, it's a feel but it's that rather than the hands working out like they are here on the takeaway, which gets the club head in, club head going in gets the uh, the shaft too flat, and then you have to steepen it on the downswing. So that would be my suggestion of what the priority is, is getting that takeaway uh, kind of cleaned up because it looks like you've done a really nice job of really owning that piece with the, the left knee, left foot. If you start to see that left heel rise or that left knee go inward, then I would say kind of go back to working on that. 
but if that piece is looking good, um, then spend some time working on this takeaway, this kind of this Ricky Fowler feel with the, the hands going in and the club head working out. Again, the hands, uh, right hand, by the club almost feels like it's brushing your right thigh. So I uh, hope this helps and look forward to seeing uh, more improvement. Thanks.